and smells good too. Now Fred, don't you tear up that armrest already. The others ought to kind of fall into play, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? Maybe Fred's been smoking in the back seat. I, I don't know. I can see from this that uh, these little dukers here are broke off. She's just broken. There's pieces missing off this one. Kind of jagged. The Fortalac. Hey, it's Rick here from Rick's Rusty Rex. And today, we're going to talk about protectant. Protectant is sold by the Dollar General Store. And it is what we use on all of our fine automobiles. Welcome to RC Industry. Well, hey everybody, it's Rick here, and uh, we only got a couple of days before we're going to be driving down to Sykeston. So, you know, in the, in the lime la ti da, the portalac. Anyway, uh, we got a couple of things to do because the armrests in that girl are all broke off and tore up and you can't find any. It's kind of like trying to find all the other parts for this. There just isn't any of these around anymore, at least not in my neck of the woods. So, uh, uh, as I said in the last video, we have located a windshield, but the guy still hasn't successfully gotten it out yet without breaking it. And then we've got to transport it up to the guy that's going to put it into me and then he's got to put it in without breaking it so we got three more obstacles to go with the windshield but but today i think we're going to try to get these armrests fixed and i'll show you what i'm talking about see this thing is just completely missing and uh i mean i've got it it's you know it's right here but uh it's supposed to be like you know on here and uh this is where fred's going to be sitting and you know he's got to have room for his arms and you know he might want to smoke and you know get to the ashtray which is kind of broken too it looks like so you know we may need to fix that too and then uh, this one up here is not too bad uh, but it is a little loose you know she's uh, she's had a few uh, she's had a few problems so and then of course the one on the other side over here she's just broken there's pieces missing off this one kind of jagged so i think i want to try to because i don't have these pieces so i can't just glue something in there so I'm, i think we'll kind of cut this off and maybe round it off so it's not so jagged and then up here on the drivers you know there's just this thing is just hanging by the controller for the mirror so uh so let's let's see if we can get this door card off of here and get it up on the bench and see what we can do show you more okay well as you can see i got that door card off there and um, it's pretty easy i mean you just you know take well there wasn't any screws in it holding it they're supposed to be but there wasn't any and then so the only thing that was really holding it was these clips and of course you got to take the door handle off but you guys know how to do that um i can see from this that uh, these little dukers here are broke off and that's why this you know came off of there so I don't know I'm thinking maybe maybe I can glue these things back in there I, I don't know that's what I'm gonna try all right let's take this apart show you more okay so this is what I'm gonna try to do these things here I, I took these off in the order they they were on the back of the card and they've got the little pieces down in here that actually go on here. So what I'm going to do is probably hot glue these back in there. These, Because these are like little tabs. See that little thing like that? And it sits on there like that. So I'm going to hot glue that all back on there. And then um, for here where it's broke from the door card you know like right here I'm gonna try um, my welder I've got a plastic welding kit so I'm gonna give that a whirl and just see what happens this is the thing to practice on with so all right let's get this hot glue gun fired up and uh, let's see what we can do show you more all right let's see oh you know what we need to check oops a little cigarette archaeology 101 here 
Them look like filters off of a cool. But, uh, you know, I don't know for sure. Maybe Fred's been smoking in the back seat. I, I don't know. All right, so we got that uh, we got that checked out there, and so let's uh, let's get some glue up here. This thing just gets everywhere, but that's all right. Let's smear a bunch of this on here. Can't get too much of it, and let's put this on here. Hopefully, it will not burn me. Oh, well, that wasn't the one that went on there, but. I guess it don't make any much difference. We'll just put this one down here. Just put a bunch of it on there. It's either going to work or it ain't. Okay, there's that one. Oops. I thought I had you glued on there. What is the matter? Okay. So let's put some more on here. Yeah, just put her on there liberally. Shove this on there. Something like that, maybe. And like that. This is going to be just like a Barrett Jackson renovation right here, baby. Get her ready for the big auction. All right, let's let that dry a little bit. And then we'll see if we can't get them screwed back down in there. All right, show you more. Okay, so let's see if this fits on here. Now, one of the biggest things that people get into um, is, you know, you, whenever you're doing this kind of work, you have got to use the proper tools for the proper for the proper job, you know. And um, this thing's a little bent. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can bend this a little bit. I believe she's been wet. Can't imagine that. Okay, so, yeah, that looks a little different. I want that to lay up there a little bit. When we tighten this down, you know, I don't want to break them back out of there again. Okay, so, let's um, run these screws in on the back side with our fancy screwdriver. And um, let's see what we can come up with. All right, show you more. Let's see here. A little easier than that. What's going on there? I think if we get one or two of these started, the others ought to kind of fall into play. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? Now, I'm not going to tighten these down yet. I'm just going to spin them in there because we've got to try to line up the broken stuff on this outside part. Now, if any of, you, any of you have some of these uh, door cards that are in nice shape, you know, reach out and get a hold of me because uh, I might be interested in getting some. You just never know. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Now, see, that ain't, that ain't too bad. It's somewhat lined up there. I'm going to try to, I'm gonna try to weld that a little if I can. I actually think it's pretty good. So let's snug those up and then let's see if we can weld this. All right, show you more. Quality control certified. 479 says it's okay. It's got to be okay. Wouldn't you like to know who 479 was? I'm sure they all walked around with their little stamps. I'm sure that number belonged to somebody in 1976 in the factory, but I don't know. I think things like that are kind of interesting. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oops. Well, we didn't need to do that necessarily. There. Okay. Let's see what we can get done here. Okay. Well, I've got no idea how to use this thing, but I plugged it in and the green light's on. And uh, it's like a giant soldering iron. And we got these little doodads here in this fancy little brush. So, uh, you know, oh, well, you know what? Here's the instructions. Well, anyway, we'll put those over there. Let's just see what we get here. Uh, she's not getting hot yet. 
We better come back when this gets hot. All right, show you more. All right, so this thing's warmed up now. Let's see if we can, you know, blow some slag here with this welder. I think my arm's probably in the way. You can't see nothing, can you? And of course, life lights coming in just about the time we get started here. But somebody needs our prayers. So I'm just kind of running this stick down in here, filling in this gap. It actually seems to be doing a pretty good job. Now, if I'd have took this off and done this from the back side, it probably would look a lot better. But I'm just kind of practicing and figuring out what I'm doing here anyway. So. Well, i got to tell you, that thing, that's pretty solid. I'm kind of surprised. It don't look too good, but like I said, if I'd have done it from the back side, it probably would look a lot better. But, you know, that's, it's good and sturdy. So, all right, let's get this one put back on and tear another one apart. Show you more. Now, Fred, don't you tear up that armrest already. Okay, so we got uh, that one on the right rear done. Here's the right front. And uh, there are just so many pieces of this one missing. I mean, it's just, you know, carnage. But I welded this back, so that's solid now. And uh, there was so much of it missing on the corner here. So I just took an old uh, canning lid and yeah, that made that work. So, all right, let's see what else we can do. Show you more. Okay, well this one here turned out fairly good. Uh, I had to, uh, of course this was broke. So I took one of those nuts like that and used that as a flared washer kind of thing and screwed that in there and then this side was here, but as you can see, there's nothing. I mean, I don't have anything to, you know, there's nothing to weld there. So I ran me a screw in there, and of course this was cracked, so I welded that. And uh, so now, you know, of course this one don't got no ashtray, so. Anyway, I think that one will work. Now this one up here, there just ain't much left of this one at all. Uh, so I took my cannon lid and kind of did that part like we did before. And here I used a great big washer and then welded this part, but there's nothing on this. There's, I don't have any of the parts to like, you know, weld on the back of this or like we did before. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is uh, get this up here and just hot glue it and see if it'll just stay. Uh, the only thing it's really there for is, you know, this and uh, the armrest is solid now so I can lay my arm on it, you know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Well, just in case everybody's forgotten and didn't watch last year's race, uh, old Russell from Outfit's Garage, he had his stock car down there, and then we had the Krusty Chrysler. And uh, I, I, I put these up here. I was pretty impressed with the old Krusty Chrysler. I mean, he only beat me by a seventh of a second. So, of course, we won't talk about that, you know, once he learned how to shift that thing, uh, he was really beating them all. But anyway... But you know that's all part of racing so <laughs> his uh misfortune on the shift is what let me only be a seventh of a second behind him but anyway it is what it is looking forward to him being there hopefully he's going to get the old uh blue outfit down there that i think it's a 75 chevy anyway if you haven't watched this channel get over and check it out all right let's get back on the ltd all right well let's get after it with some dg protecting you know, we like DG protected. You know, what better way to make one look pretty with, unless you use some DG protected? Just put it on there liberally everywhere. Wipe her down, baby. Look at that luster. That luxurious rawhide plastic. Why? It looks just like brand used. And smells good too. All right guys, 
and gals well, that about does it for today short little video trying to get this thing ready to roll the only thing left we got to do is we got to change the oil before we actually take off i want to do that and uh i also hopefully can get a windshield put in it otherwise we're you know we're liable to be in the pokey somewhere between here and there so anyway thanks for coming along and we'll see you in sykeston and don't forget we're making things just like brand used here baby Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby! <laughs>